Hello guys, welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. I've promised to make this video for a long time, but I've been putting it off because I was tr d doing some research, trying to find the best macro recorder and replayer for absolutely free, and I finally did. And it's all thanks uh, to the comment of one of our viewers. He recommended this beautiful little program called Tiny Task. I'm going to link it in the description. It's absolutely free. There is no trials. There is no secret hidden payments. It's completely free. And it does absolutely everything you would want it to do in Disney Dreamlight Valley. So, uh, recommended settings. Make sure the play speed is on 1x. Continuous playback is turned on. Uh, I mean, at least for cooking you're probably gonna need that or you can actually set playback loops for example if you have certain amount of ingredients you can see right now uh, from the ingredients that I have I can only cook 370 pumpkin puffs so I can just put 370 in here and then uh, I don't need continuous playback I will just know exactly how many how many times it's gonna repeat the action Recording hotkey, uh, again, you can put anything that works the best for you. Uh, F12 for me doesn't really work that well because F12 is a Steam's screenshot button, so I'm not using that. I set it to F8 and playback I set to print screen. Uh, always on top. It's not necessary, but if you want to see the interface and make sure that recording uh, or playing, uh, you can have it always on top. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's that's it. That's it. That's all you need to know. And now let's go back into the game. The first thing that I absolutely love to automate is pumpkin puffs. And it couldn't be easier or any dish that you're producing in mass. Now you want to have uh, your mouse and keyboard for this one. Uh my my cursor is not showing for some reason. Okay, here you go. Now it's showing. So what we're going to do we're gonna press F8 because it's our record button and immediately click out of fill, then start cooking and then maybe even click somewhere on the screen a few times to speed up the animation. So that's how we're gonna do. F8, out of fill, start cooking and then boom, 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 boom and then F8 again. That's it, we just recorded a macro. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna click Print screen, and I'm gonna raise my hands, and the the program is just gonna play 370 times whatever we just recorded. Absolutely beautiful time saver. Now this is, if you're playing on PC, there is no reason not to use uh, this kind of software. Now I'm gonna be honest, this is not the program I'm using for myself. I have a different program, but honestly, this program. It, it does absolutely everything you need to, to do for Disney Dreamlight Valley. So uh, the one that I'm using is actually a premium program. It cost me like, it, it, I think I paid like $20 for it a long time ago because it actually, I needed it for a different game and that game didn't support any other program that I've tried. So I, I had to pay $20 to, to use the premium version. But honestly, for Disney Dreamlight Valley, the tiny task is the only thing you can possibly need and it shows you uh, the progress basically you can see right now we are at 10 out of 370 uh, repeats you can literally leave your computer no hands leave your computer go do anything you want this program is gonna keep cooking meals for you which is a huge time saver but there is more things that you can use the auto clicker on I use it for much more things than just cooking and I'm going to show you a few other use cases that might be very helpful. Let's stop it by clicking print screen again. It stopped now. Beautiful. Also, you can save whatever you just recorded. Just click save and you can click it, save it as a recording file and then you can load it up later. So that is fantastic. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, another use case that is extremely helpful. So you know that farming iron or maybe farming certain uh, mining task for a star path is not fun, is not fun at all. So, like for example, for the current star path, there was a duty where you needed to get five shiny, I think it was tourmaline or whatever, five shiny rocks. So I basically, 
that's what I how I completed that task by not doing anything. I literally just left the macro running overnight. And by the time I, I got up, I had five shiny rocks. So the way I do it, you can you can experiment and do it different way. I pick a rock. I use that rock for that situation. So I take a pickaxe. Uh, I go to my food and I make sure that in the first slot, I have a full stack of food. For example, these... Uh, 50 chili peppers. I like using berries for this because I don't want any fancy food. I want something that's going to restore my energy a little bit. I don't need a lot. I'm going to explain to you why. So in first slot, I have a stack of berries or maybe apples, something that gives you around 200 stamina or maybe even less. Maybe maybe have pumpkins in there, something, something that gives you very little stamina. And now the way you record this macro... You are, you are facing the rock. So, we're going to click F8 to record a new macro. And immediately, we're going to start digging. We're going to just basically uh, click the digging button. <coughs> okay, after this is done, what we're going to do, we're going to open our inventory. Click on this, eat, close the inventory, and then we're going to click W to turn back to the stone. And now we just wait. We let the macro run for a bit. What I like to do, I like to basically let it uh, regenerate the stone back. So like I wait two, three minutes until the stone is back. Then I hit it one more time. Then I wait again until the stone is fully regenerated. And that's when I stop the macro. What it allows you to do is allows you to eat once. I mean, it depends on what kind of food you eat. If you if you put there, uh, if you put a kind of food that restores like very little amount of stamina enough for just one swing, then uh, you want to record just one rock. So after the rock is, has respawned, you stop the macro if you're eating something like a pumpkin, for example. If you're eating something like a berry, it, it's enough. One berry is enough energy to restore for two hits. I recommend using berries because, again, it's perfect for two full hits, enough stamina. Which means you can run this macro 50 times. And each macro is going to have two rocks. I, I hope I'm explaining this well because I feel like I'm, I'm confusing everybody right now. So again, you break rock. You you can do it in any uh, sequence you want. Start macro, break rock, wait, rock response, break rock, then eat, then turn back to the rock, wait until it responds, and as soon as it responds, you stop recording, and then when you play it, you're gonna be breaking two rocks and eating in a cycle. And since you can have 50 items of food in your first slot, it can be any slot, just make sure you always have full stack of food in that slot that you're using. It's going to break 100 rocks. Even if you want to do more than that, you can like put some food that is going to give you enough energy for three broken rocks. So you, the, we basically do this to make sure that, that we don't run out of energy. If you run this overnight, you always keep eating. So eating is incorporated inside the script. Uh, so basically, you uh, hit, hit two or three rocks and eat once inside every uh, loop, every loop of the script. So uh, by the time you, if, if you run this for 50 times, you're going to break 100 rocks, which saves you ridiculous amount of time. You can even do it uh, again, three rocks per cycle. It's going to take a while to record. It's going to take like, it's going to be like 10 minute macro for three rocks. But you only need to do it once. And after that, if you need uh, to farm iron, for example, or if you need to farm a certain gem for a star path, you just run the script overnight. It's going to break 150 rocks. You wake up in the morning. Most likely, you completed the task. Make sure you have a buddy with you to get a few extra gems. You will have to go in the morning 
and collect everything around you because the things are going to solidify. You're not going to pick up everything, but it's it's small price to pay. Most of the time, it, it takes like 30 seconds to just collect everything uh, that's solidified. So I'm just I'm just talking about while waiting for the stone to respawn. So as soon as it responds, you hit it again. Then again, wait. Then hit it again. Then eat. Then stop the loop. That's how you can basically do automatic mining. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you the whole process. I think it's pretty clear what it does. I have the script on my other program that I'm using. I'm gonna show you in the end in case you're interested. But there is honestly no need to pay for it if you can use this absolutely for free with no limitations whatsoever. You can do pretty much anything you want with it. You can do digging now for digging. Uh, you are gonna have to find some place where you'll be able to like dig in a straight line for a long time For example right here. So what we can do we can rec uh, start recording and then we start digging. Oh god. I Forgot to switch damn it. I forgot to switch to the shovel All right, let's see how this works. We click F8. I never did a script for digging, but I don't see why not and then you just hold the right mouse button You can do like a, a field of any size and then you can just duplicate it multiple times. It's not gonna, I mean, you will have to move it manually. So after you dog, like for example, you can make it like 20 by five. So you, you dig like a hundred spots. You can now basically record a turn like this. Hop. Ooh, this one doesn't do the mouse. Okay, okay, I see now. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. So this script, this uh, this program, Tiny Task, it actually doesn't do the mouse actions. It only does the keyboard action. At least, at least that's what it looks like. Unless it's like in the cursor mode. If it's in like a moving mode like this... It doesn't work because technically the mouse cursor stands in the middle. So it's interesting because the other program that I used, the premium one, it can actually do all of these things. It can do the turns, it can capture pretty much anything. But honestly, this is not a big deal. You're probably not going to be able to use it for digging very efficiently unless you do like giant straight lines. Uh, but anyway, it's not a big deal. You can still use it for farming, and I also use it for farming. I have a script for farming, because farming... You just need to make sure you have enough energy before you start your farming script. We have, let's say, uh, a huge field of pumpkins. And you wanna... Like, you wanna click one button, step away and come back to a fully harvested field. All you need to do is click F8. And then you just... Just hold E. And it's just gonna be harvesting and you just hold it for long enough to harvest your whole pumpkin field and then again you, if you're doing this with a body it's gonna be a little more difficult maybe try locking them up and then release them to collect all the bonus items in the end but you can do the same thing with pretty much uh planting as well unfortunately you will not be able to do it with watering because watering is very finicky but you can definitely record a script to uh to do harvesting for you at least which is not bad okay let's see i just recorded this and now i can just come here and play it and i can go go away for a bit and it's gonna harvest all my pumpkins you can do the same with planting make sure you have enough energy to uh to do all the planting for you so you don't run out of energy or if you don't have if you have too big of a field to harvest without... Oh, my inventory is full. Well, that sucks. If you have enough... Uh, what I was going to say. Uh, if you have, if you don't have enough energy, even if you have full two bars, if, you, if it's not enough to harvest your whole field, then incorporate eating inside your script. Eating would work because your mouse moves inside the menu. Basically, your mouse moves inside uh, the inventory, which w does work. But it's not; it doesn't work if the cursor is hidden for some reason in this program. So, yeah, you can do farming. But in my opinion, the best and probably, like, 
If you have Auto Clicker, there is no reason for you to make money any other way except making soufflés because you can literally go to, into the Remis shop, invest a bunch of money into ingredients, fill up like a bunch of chests with all the ingredients for the soufflés, and then just go and cook a full inventory worth of soufflés. This way, it's pretty much 100% automatic. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to show you uh, the program that I use real quick. The program that I use is called Mouse and Keyboard Recorder. So I I see here, I can have here all of the scripts and I can just play, uh, ch choose the script, uh, click how many times I want it to repeat. Uh, I can even make a delay between repeats, which is very useful in certain situations. And I can play, uh, play, I can record new scripts. Basically, it's the same thing, just with a little bit better interface, slightly more accessible. And uh, the paid version is actually, I'm not sure how much it is. The only difference between paid and free version is that free version gives you only five repeats, which is enough for certain tasks like farming, but it's not enough for cooking, unless you're willing to record like a uh, you, you can actually bypass the five repeats limit by just recording like uh, 30 minutes of footage, like 30 minutes of cooking. You just record it once, and then if you repeat that five times, it's already two and a half hours automatically. Easy peasy. Uh, yeah, this program is it has a lot more features than Tiny Task, but Tiny Task is more than enough for cooking. And if that's what you care about, just just do it. Just Just make millions. And let me know in the comments if it works for you or not. Or maybe you have a better macro program that you're using. For now, this is all I got for you for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And take care, my friends.